What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 12th C tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a random number generator. Now this is going to be useful in a lot of applications we're going to build. Like uh, say you wanted to uh, build a computer application to like um, uh, figure out when you roll a dice what number it is or a slot machine or like a card game where they randomly deal cards. This is the function you use to make sure all of that is random. Now the function for random is R-A-N-D with parameters. Now we're going to be working with empty parameters in this tutorial, but that's the basic function, RAND. It stands for random. So uh, let's put this thing to use. Let's go ahead and the first thing we're going to want to do is print out a random number. So let's go ahead and make a printf statement. And let's go ahead and put percent %d and let's make a new line. And then as our um, variable we're gonna just write the random function in for that and remember you don't have to uh, write variables in here you can also have entire functions will act which act as variable for formatting and percent date so let's go ahead and um, compile and run and see if we got this working so far let's see looks good should run and it's gonna go ahead and print out a random number and our random number is 41 awesome number awesome choice so um, let me just loop this a couple times because I'm gonna show you guys um, a couple different things so let's go ahead and make a counting variable set it equal to zero and put while I is less than let's say 15 probably need a other uh, parenthesis there curly brace curly brace um, I plus plus now that's just the count now let's make sure our loop is working and once you got your loop built and what did I do forgot a semicolon that's embarrassing and now it will work so go ahead and build a while loop to loop through this a couple times because I'm gonna show you guys something and as you can see what this does when you loop through your random number generator is it generates a list of random numbers and the number is composed in the range 0 to the max of your system. Now the max is probably somewhere around um it might be 32,000 for mine looking at it. Might be uh 64 for others. But um this depends the max depends on your system or your computer whatever you're running it on. So it can be difficult to judge the outcome of your number. So in many cases especially with like a dice where it only has six sides or a slot machine where it only have only has so many choices or cards where there's only 52 cards in the deck you want to limit these choices of random numbers that it can output and to do this we kind of need to trick the random function into outputting only a certain amount of numbers and we do this by using the modulus operator which is a percent sign now if you don't remember what the modulus operator does is give you the remainder of a division so let's say you divided by 10. Well, what this would do is take a random number, divide it by 10, and give you whatever the remainder is. So as you can see, or not as you can see, but as you know, if you divide any random number by 10, it's either going to give you something in a range 0, which means it divides perfectly, to 9. Now, it doesn't give you 10 because if it divided by 10, it would just add 1 to the main number. Um, so let's go ahead and execute compile and run this and as you can see we should have a list of numbers 0 through 9 and there we go right there and again what this is doing is taking a random number doesn't matter how big it is dividing it by 10 and as you can see the remainder in this was 1 remainder in this was 7 4 this one divided perfect so it was a 0 and this is how you can get a list of numbers but as you can see the first problem and the main thing that's gonna annoy you is this zero right here if you have something like a dice you don't want zero or a deck of cards or anything since zero is not really a common thing when you're outputting numbers so another thing let's go ahead and 10 gives you 0 through 9 which is 10 options so anything after the modulus is how many options you want so let's say we have a dice with six options. But the thing is, this is going to give you 0 through 5. And the dice is 1 to 6. 
So how can we fix that problem right there? Well, this, my friend, is easier than not even going to say because uh, I'll probably get my video taken down. But say you want to start at 1 and get 6 options. All you have to do is go 1 plus random number. And let me explain to you guys why this works. This random number is going to give you 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right here. When you add 1 to it, it's going to give you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this starts at 0 and gives you 6 options. And this just adds 1 to everything. So let me go ahead and let's uh, get 20 right here in case we don't get a 1 for some reason. Let's go ahead and compile and run this. And we should get a list of numbers 1 to 6. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Work. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And as you can see, that is how you use the random function to output whatever numbers you want. And as you can see, you don't only have to add 1 to this. You can uh, do a bunch of different math operators. But this is a really simple way to use the random function. And just to recap one more time, this, after the modulus, gives you the remainder or how many choices the random function has. And this is pretty much what number you want to start it. If you put 5 plus random, it's going to start at 5. 1 plus random, going to start at 1. And this isn't necessary, but it's just useful so you don't have to start at 0 the whole time by default. So that's that for the random function. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out my next tutorial and all my contests. So again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.